Martins, we use Numicon Big Ideas to make sure Year 5 and 6 have a secure understanding of key number concepts such as fractions and place value. We carry out the initial assessment with children we think that are going to benefit from this programme. This year I'm teaching Big Ideas in both Year 5 and 6. In the lessons today, we are building on previous learning on place value of whole numbers. Today I want the children to extend their learning to one and two decimal places. Morning everyone. Morning. Morning. So today we're going to be doing some more work on place value. And right back in sort of September, October time, we did some work on place value of large numbers. Didn't we? Do you remember that? Yeah. Okay. So in front of you is a place value frame that we use there. Okay. So I I'm going to put on here hundreds and I would like you to think about what we did oh, way back a few weeks ago, what you would put in the other tops of the columns. So it won't all pen out, okay, can you fill in the other columns? I've done hundreds for you. Right, think about we're not doing decimals today yet. I want whole numbers. I'm just worried about whole numbers. Okay, so we're going to start to look at the one I've done. We've got hundreds there. Okay, so I've given you a bit of a clue where hundreds is. Okay, let me pull up one that's completed and then you can have a check. Um, okay, so we've got that one. Okay, so have a check. Have we got that right? Mm -hmm. On your board, I would like you to write to me a three-digit number that is a multiple of ten. A three-digit number that is a multiple of ten. Now we've done, we've used this chart as well to multiply by ten and a hundred, and divide by multiply, uh, divide by ten and a hundred. Okay, fantastic. So can you tell me your number? 830. Fantastic, your number? 340. 990. Fantastic. 800. Good. How about you? 980. Lovely. 400. 400. Fantastic. Who thinks they can make that number 10 times bigger? Okay, Ella, give me your first number, Elliot. 990. Okay. Oh, 990. Okay, so I've asked Elliot to make it 10 times bigger. So Elliot, how do we make that number 10 times bigger? Um, you just move it one column along. One column along. Okay, excellent. So what number do we make then? 9,900. So do we remember when we did this before, we said that if we move, if we put a number here, it went 10 times bigger here. Do you remember? Yes. Okay. So what about if you made your original number? So go back to your original number. So okay, in its case, it was 990. Can we make it 10 times smaller? Okay, have a go. Have a chat to your neighbour, see if you can work it out. 10 times smaller. Okay, good. Who would like to share 10 times smaller? Have they made it 10 times smaller? Let's just delete that. So, who could give you their original number? Nicole, what was your original number? 830. Okay, so we want to make that number 10 times smaller. So, you would take, you would put the zero away and put the three in the units column and put the eight. Okay, in so. By the same time zero, what we're we doing? We're moving it all. Yeah, we're all moving it to the right, aren't we? So, what number do we end up with? Fantastic. Good. Okay, we're going to move on to decimals. Okay, so what shape is this? One. One. One whole one. Okay, so if we were going to think about <coughs> where you would put it on your uh, place value frame. Have you put your finger? Where would we put that? 
as a one, Ellie? Where would we put it? Here. Yeah, because it's a whole one. Yeah, that's, but we want to think about what happens when we have part of that whole one. So I want you to imagine that we put that one under a microscope and we can see a hundred parts. Okay? And we can represent that with one of our orange baseballs. Okay? So there are a hundred smaller parts. Okay? And we're going to think about how we can separate or how we can partition that whole one. Now today I've got the grey Numicon out because I didn't want us to get confused, right? Because a blue 10 is like 10 whole ones, but we have, we've got something smaller than that, right? You'll understand in a minute. So, if I put that on my whole ones, imagine that's my whole one, and I'm breaking, that's all the dots are 100 little bits, okay? How much, how many of those 100 little bits have I got? Yes. Fantastic. Do we know how we would write that? Yeah. Right. And we would write that as 10 over 100. Okay? So we've written it as a fraction, and we've done fractions. Okay? Everybody understand or remembers? Yeah. What does that bottom bit mean? What does that denominator mean? It has to be half. It has to be half of the top part. Not quite. Elliot took in a burst. Yes. A hundred equal pieces. Yes. So our hundred equal pieces are our dots, yeah? So the whole has been divided into a hundred equal pieces. Right? And we've got ten of them. So we've got ten out of a hundred. Does anybody know how we could write that as a decimal? But it is a fraction, but as a decimal. Yes, Josh. 0.1. 0 0.1, good boy. So zero. Point one. Okay? We can also write it as we could write in words, couldn't we? So we could write zero point one. Everybody happy with that? So if I add another one of my another one of my smaller tens. How much have I got there? Ellie? We've got 20. 20. No, think about this, what we've just had before. So this was 10 over 100 or 0.1. 20 over 100. Good girl, we've got 20 over 100. Okay. In today's lesson, the children use Numicon to show their understanding of the value of tenths. Next session, I want to continue to develop their understanding of hundreds using the decimal baseboard. I'd like the children to be able to use their knowledge of place value and decimals to be able to compare and order decimal numbers. How would we write that on a place value chart? So I have here a decimal place value plan. So have a look at it. Maybe have a chat to your neighbour. What do you notice compared to your the first frame I gave you? Fantastic. <coughs> Okay, so could you put on there for me this number? So let's move. Where would we put that on your. Say the number. Three over ten. So it's three over ten. And say it as a decimal. Where would that go on there? Fantastic. We all notice the decimal point. Good. Okay, so that's telling us we have three tenths. Are we all happy with that? Thanks. Okay. So what we've done is extended the place value frame that we did with the whole numbers 
to the to the right to include tenths and hundreds. So can we all see that on your okay? And then we've inserted a decimal point between the where? Where have we put the decimal point? Between the the ones and the tenths. Okay? Everybody happy with that yes. so far? So in front of you you have your own decimal board. I'm just decimal board. And I would like you to use some of the grey unicorn we have. And remember, this is like a small ten, isn't it? Okay, it's not like a big whole ten. This is a small ten. Okay, so we can say that's what one tenth. Okay, so have a go and making up some tenths for me. Okay, have a chat to your neighbour. Think about how many you're going to need to make nine tenths. Okay, off you go. Right, so girls, we're going to have a go at seeing what happens when we cover this whole board. Alright, so somebody put a tent on for me. Okay, so how many, right, I want to go over there. So how many, what, what have we got on our board? Um, one over ten. One over ten, and there's a decimal? One, zero point one. Excellent. Right, and another one, Hannah, you put another one on for me. What have we got now? 2 over 10. Oh, what's the decimal? 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Right, and small then? Keep going. So see if we can count. So let's count to decimals now. So we've got, what's this in, in decimals? We've got 0 0.1, 0 0.2. 0 0.4. Fantastic. And what we're we going to have here? 0 0.4. What we're we going to have here? 0 0.5. Okay. Do you know anything about 0 0.5? It's half. So it's half of our whole, isn't it? Fantastic. Right. What's this one? 0.6. Good. 0.7. 7. Now I wonder what's going to happen when we cover our board. It's going to be a hole. going to be a hole. Do you agree, Nicole? Why do we agree? Why do you agree? Because if the one was one part and we put all the tints in it, there'd be no room. Okay, so it. that makes a hole. Okay, that's interesting. So we we could then make another decimal, couldn't we? Because that is a hole. We just said that's a one. So on our it would go there, wouldn't it? In our ones column, yeah. But if we had another board, okay, I put. And I put that on. What would we have now? What do you think? We've got a whole one. We've got 11. No, I, I see where you're coming from. But that's a whole one, isn't it? So we've said we're going to put one in here, and this is part of another whole one. So what would we have? We'd write the one there. 1.5. One, one point one. Yes? Okay, so if I put another ten here, what would I have? One point two. Make sense? Fantastic. Have a little play. Yeah, see what you can make. Good. This looks really interesting. So, somebody would like to explain to me what you've done? Um, we got... 0 0.1 tenths on our board and when we filled we did it we filled it up all the way till that until there's none no square, square right, so what have we made now one hole one hole okay and so you've shown it as a decimal and you've shown it as a fraction fantastic so what would happen then so if we're saying this is the hole yeah so and you've shown me that you've put it in the ones column, okay? So you've got some more on this board here, haven't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what number have you made now? We've got... Hundreds. One hole. One hole. So we've already got one hole here, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, one hole. Point, point three. 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 Yeah. And why point three? Because there is three on this board. board. 
Right, three what? What are these? Three tenths. tenths. Okay, so we ma mathematical language. Yeah, we want three tenths on this board. Yes. Fantastic. Well done.